My name is, well, most people know me by Alexa Ames, but my birth name is Raven Fraser. I've been a porn star and a humanitarian. When I first got into porn, and the only company I had heard of was, um, was Brazzers at the time. I found their email online, I was just like searching around, and I never thought that they would call me back. A week later, I'm fucking tested, and I'm on a plane, and I go out to Miami, and I do my first porn scene, and I wasn't, it's so weird, everybody asks, were you nervous? Nope. <laughs> I just, I don't know, it was almost like I was born to fuck on film. I love sex, and I'm not camera shy. The thing that sucks is my second scene I ever did was an anal scene. I had never done anal in real life, so that is my one and only time <laughs> on camera and off camera. And that was kind of my first um, time of being taken advantage of in the industry. I did a little, like about a year and a half. And then finally I was just like, done. I don't want to be Alexa anymore. Like, I want to be Raven. I don't want to be Alexa. And I'm pulling away more and more every day. At the end of the day time I was in the industry I utilized that platform. What I do with um, my fan base, what I did from the very beginning, if you send me proof of donation to any organization, it doesn't even have to be one of the ones I advocate for, that I will send you um, a free sign 8x10. And um, it's great to use that to do much more for people, to get other people to do something better for somebody else. Dirty Model Movement, their whole thing is helping the homeless. They do events at bars and at clubs. We just did an event. It was a huge donation drive where everybody brought socks, clothes, everything, everybody, and there's an open bar, so people are just drinking, and you're having fun, so you're partying for charity. And it's great to see all these people coming out, like these girls in their dresses and their heels. Somehow, every person that night put somebody else into their own lives. Even when I was struggling and working three jobs, I was still involved with charity. And then now that I'm at this point in my life where I'm stable and I'm better off than I was before, now I really want to pay it forward. Making other pe people feel better makes me feel better. So it's almost kind of out of selfishness that I help other people. I think it's because I hate myself so much sometimes that Taking care of other people just makes me feel like I'm doing something. And I don't know what else I'm gonna fucking do if I'm not needed or if I'm not making somebody smile, then what is there to my life? If I could give a piece of advice to myself when I was younger, it would be that it's okay to be different. Like, that was a really hard part of growing up, and I wish that I had known it was okay to be different and weird. All strangeness is beautiful because that makes things interesting. You know, so stay weird. <laughs> what I always say. <laughs>